hi welcome back to rebecca's travel so if you're watching my lifestyle channel hi welcome back to rebecca's lifestyle hi how are you all doing um i hope everybody is okay it was really cold um in northwest leicestershire especially last night um it is a sunny day today um but it is still very cold um uh, because we're still in obviously winter season um if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and a big thumbs up and thank you for doing so and um, helping out my uh, travel and my lifestyle channels um i love talking about travel and lifestyle and um, today i'm going to be doing a budget travel special um exciting facts january 2024 Four, part two this is according to inews.co.uk by um chelsea dickinson and um i'm going to give you um exciting budget travel facts so i'm going to kick off with number one um which is going all inclusive and um, again it saves you on your meals and um a lot of drinks but uh, do look that some of the um drinks um or activities you may have to pay extra so if you with um all inclusive um again you just need to look at um everything that you're deal includes and um, number two traveling in the shoulder season such as mid-season april and may or september and october um or even low season is uh, cheaper than traveling in high season so especially like july and august but also well late Ju uh, june is still cheaper then July and August but again if you uh, travel out of July and August um, then it is a lot ch uh, cheaper um, number three um, house swapping um, is also among the tactics of Britons use to control their budgets so um they're probably staying um swapping with with um a friend um, a friend or family either in another part of the world or um or in the UK and um, in a different location in the UK both swapping holidays if you can get the time off together then um that uh, that again um it saves you money because uh, you're not uh, paying out for accommodation and number four be flexible uh, with the weather uh, uh, sorry be flexible whether it your trip um um with the dates uh, whether it's just a day trip or whether it's a holiday or um a long traveling trip um you need to be flexible with the dates to get the cheap prices also the time of day that you're um, that you fly and uh, your destination um, and being willing to tweak your holiday preference can also save you a lot of money and um, you may already know about because um, I've mentioned in other videos about uh, Skyscanner um, it lets you search everywhere uh, for the cheapest flights um also number five um plan 
uh, spontaneity, um, great deals like free child places go fast. So think about uh, which countries you want to visit or the, a place in the UK. Um, for instance, um, deals can go fast. Um, companies such as uh, Jack's Flight Club and Secret Flying alert travellers to uh, flight deals as well. Um, number five, um, focus on daily costs such as food, accommodation, car hire, activities. Um, you can uh, use Numero, um, which um, is the cost of living index. Uh, with data for more than 11,000 cities across the world. It's a, um, it has um, also the average price uh, for um, so things such as beer, coffee, public transport, um, etc. Um, so again, if you're going for more than a day trip, um, then um, it's a good idea to get a uh, new uh, BO and um, number six explore your backyard with the UK's in Interrail among uh, travellers uh, you'll probably already know that Interrail uh, pass allows you to roam Europe by train but did you uh, realise um, we do have a version here in the UK, which is really um, good. It's um, called Ranger and R uh, Rover, Ranger and Rover, and it offers unlimited travel um, in a particular area across a, a certain window. Um, there are 96 options to choose from and you can use uh, trains and buses um, off-peak. So if you travel off-peak times, um, especially with uh, trains, you can get it a lot cheaper than travelling at peak periods. Um, also... Um, Uh, you can uh, get uh, uh, basically, say, the whole of South Wales for a certain pr uh, price or, um, say, the whole of the uh, Highlands in Scotland uh, for um, a certain price, travelling on buses and trains um, off-peak, which is a really cool idea. And uh, number seven um ask for free upgrades um if you're staying in a hotel um last but not least number eight search for a disney alternative like europa park in germany um with a nearby campsite offering um effective uh, price options and um, even in the school holidays um or head to poland for um the largest or the biggest theme park there called energy land uh, where st uh, standard tickets uh, just cost from 39 pound and that is in high season so if you go in mid or lower season then it it's even cheaper so i would like to say thank you for watching and i'll see you tomorrow for my travel and my lifestyle channels improvements updates and more so thank you for watching and have a as good day and night wherever you are in the world thank you and bye for now thank you bye